A new era of commercial spaceflight is here. It, it's really exciting uh, to, to get the opportunity uh, to build a space capsule from scratch uh, that, that NASA or uh, other companies haven't done for, uh, for really decades. Boeing's commercial crew program finished an integrated critical design review in July, closing out the final phase of the program prior to NASA selection. So the real focus early on is going to be building the structural test article and then the qual test article and entering into those critical tests to verify that uh, our design meets all requirements and can safely transport crews to and from low Earth orbit. We've got software development, we've got hardware development, um, and we've got a planned schedule going forward to where we will be ready to fly within our time frame. Upcoming certification tests will focus on the CST-100's pad abort test in 2016 and first flights in 2017. Already, Boeing has hardware ready to move into the commercial crew processing facility in Florida. We've got uh, well over 100 parts that have already been delivered to Florida. Uh, we'll do all of our assembly integration and test in the old shuttle hangar OPF-3. As we expand the business beyond commercial crew, obviously we'll be looking at developing more capsules. Unlike the shuttle program, Boeing will deliver a service, not hardware. While Boeing will look to initially fly NASA astronauts, the CST-100 will be the first U.S.-based spacecraft to transport commercial customers. Right now we've got two primary partners as we're looking to broaden the business space beyond NASA. The first is Space Adventures, uh, the only company that has brokered uh, commercial spaceflight transportation to and from the International Space Station. Uh, and the second is Bigelow Aerospace, uh, who is developing their own uh, on-orbit platform. Uh, it's an in inflatable system, very similar to uh, the International Space Station. 30 years from now, um, more people than just NASA astronauts will be going into space. P people will be able to, um, instead of going to Florida or going you know, to the Caribbean for their, for their vacation, well, they'll be going into low Earth orbit um, and being able to look at the stars as opposed to looking at the ocean.